This is Alan here with Chris Sly from American Idol fame. Uh, he got a message for everybody at Mirror Lake. Hello church at Mirror Lake. I hope that life treats you well and that the streams of goodness find you in happiness <laughs> at the church of Mirror Lake. <laughs> uh, it's I, and I, know, I uh, was trying to figure out what God had for me and where I was going to go and what I was going to do. I, I um, had offers to do mainstream music and I thought for a while that that's what God was calling me to do. Uh, my band, I was in a band called Half Past Forever that we traveled around for several years uh, and we did mainstream music and I thought that's what God was calling me to. But I had grown up in Christian music. My dad was a, uh, a pastor my whole life. I grew up overseas. My, my parents, went, I moved to Germany when I was seven years old. I lived there for 10 years as a missionary kid. We worked with the military over there so I don't speak German. And in fact, I got a D minus in German my junior year of college. That's how much I don't know German, even though I lived there for 10 years. Um, anyway, I'm ADD. I'm going to get right back on track right now. Um, I forgot to take my Ritalin. Do they still take Ritalin for ADD? Yes. Okay. Well, I forgot to take my Ritalin today. And uh, so, anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, I was talking about uh, as I got done. I had, a, I had the chance to sign with a mainstream label, and I prayed about it for a long time, and ultimately decided that this is what I wanted to do, that I felt like God was calling me to be with my brothers and sisters in Christ on a regular basis. And even though um, it was a lot more money and uh, probably a little bit more fame, um, this is, man, I can't tell you the joy. It's frustrating sometimes like you know like we drive after the show we'll get in the car and drive six hours in a van after the show and that's that can be tiring at 31 years old but um you know this is this is what i was born to do is to be with you guys on a regular basis and by you guys i mean my brothers and sisters in christ and i'm excited about that and, uh, so as I was making this album, I was working with a guy named Brock Bannister, who is a, a producer in Nashville, and uh, he came to me towards the end of the recording. He said, man, I think we need one more song that kind of explains to people where you came from, because most people don't know that I was a youth pastor, a music pastor, and that my dad was a pastor. My, you know, my grandparents were missionaries. And, um, they don't. They just don't know all that. They just see you on TV and they see you show up at the Christian market and they go, "Oh, I guess he couldn't get a real record deal." And that just wasn't the case. Like this is what I felt like I was calling me to do, beyond a shadow of a doubt. So he wanted me to write a song. And so I spent several weeks just sitting down, praying and trying to write songs with people. And um, and so I I came up with this song. It's uh, it goes like this. I was on American Idol, remember me? I took a lot less money to be here, so buy my CD. And I brought that back into Brown, and he was like, man, I just don't feel like that's the right direction. <laughs> and uh, so I was got to a writing session with a guy named Tony Wood, and um, I kind of played that for him, and I said, man, this is what I come up with after six weeks of trying to write a song about coming from American Idol and doing Christian music. And, uh, and he said, man, he was like, I don't think that's the direction, but I might have an idea. And he pulled up his computer and he pulled out this little snippet of a lyric that just said, empty me of me so I can be filled with you. And he said, I said, man, that's exactly, exactly what I want to say. So he wrote this lyric. It's just a simple prayer. No matter where you're at in life, guys, whether you're a dog walker, a cheerleader, you work at a factory, you're the president of the United States, or some other guy that was on American Idol, it's a simple prayer to be emptied of ourselves so that we can be filled with Christ. When it burns bright To see all the gifts and the blood Now I'm tasting my share Of the sweet life and the wild ride And found a little is not
Every vain ambition and the poison of mind.